My name is Eric Wolf. I'm the founder of Airwolf 3D and the lead designer of the Airwolf Axiom. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Axiom today and hopefully get you up to speed in 3D printing in no time. So the first thing I want to talk about is you just unpack the printer. Let's make sure that it's ready to print. First thing we'll do is open the front door and make sure that it's entirely free from obstructions. See, we've got a nice open environment in here. This is because the bed will move up and down as it auto calibrates itself. The next thing we'll do is we'll navigate to our prepare menu. Now let's get this machine warmed up and ready to 3D print. We need a nice warm environment in here to get those really high quality prints. With the Axiom, like we have here, we'll preheat our ABS. Do me a favor and start your 3D printing career with ABS with the Axiom. It will be very easy. We've designed the entire machine around printing ABS to start with. And we're gonna navigate down here to preheat ABS-1. That'll preheat the nozzle and the bed at the same time. If you had an Axiom E, you would simply navigate to preheat PLA and you'd select PLA-1. The difference between the Axiom and the Axiom E is the Axiom E does not have a heated bed. The heated bed is necessary for materials like ABS, PET, polycarbonate, and a number of other materials. With that said, the Axiom E will still print in PLA, and TPU, and TP, and a lot of great materials as well. But we have the Axiom here right now. Now the second thing you want to do after warming it up is navigate to the prepare menu again and go down to Auto Home. Since we just turned the machine on, it really has no idea where it is. Whether you just took it out of your car or took it off the plane or took it to school, when you start it first up, it doesn't know necessarily where it is. So it's a nice thing to do to press auto home at first and then the machine will figure out where all the parts are before it goes to start to print. So as it's auto homing right now, you can see the temperature is also coming up on our hot end. The preheat temperature for the head is 240 and for the bed is 120. That's all happening at the same time. Now the first thing we're going to do is load the filament after the printer is sufficiently warmed up. We have a safety feature in the machine to actually prevent the filament from going in below 175 degrees so that no damage happens to that head. So once the head's up to 240, and I cheated a little bit here, I actually preheated the machine before the video. Once it head's up to 240, um, it's plenty hot to accept the filament. 